Hello and welcome to another of our um, Christmas time lecture shorts. Today I'm with Professor Isa Radatska, who works at the university. Isa, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi to everyone. I am uh, Professor Isa Radetska and I am a biotechnologist. Uh, my area of interest is microbial biotechnology and production of biodegradable materials. Thank you, Isa. Um, Isa, you grew up in Poland. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the traditions around Christmas in Poland? Yes, in Poland, the Christmas time starts really with Advent, which is like a period before Christmas, four weeks before Christmas. And um, really the sort of like a Christmas celebration, the first sign of Christmas celebration would be the 6th of uh, December. And this is where Santa Claus comes to see children. Mm -hmm. And if you behaved very well, you might expect to get little presents, so little sweets. So in UK, Santa Claus comes on Christmas Day, but in Poland, Santa Claus will come on the evening of the 6th of December. And then after that, all the children would obviously wait for the main Christmas presents, which would arrive on a Christmas Eve in Poland, which is the 24th of uh, December. And the most important time of Christmas uh, in Poland is Christmas Eve, which we call Vigilia, mm -hmm. and that is um, a very busy day. So the, the Christmas Eve is when we have the main meal, which is a vegetarian uh, meal. But Christmas Day in every Polish home is extremely busy. So we clean everything. So everything is nice, fresh and clean, and we cook all day. And we cook so many different dishes. And you're not allowed to eat a lot on that day. So I remember as a children, we were always quite hungry and we were not allowed to eat a lot. We had to fast and wait for the Christmas Eve dinner, which is the most important one. And uh, the Christmas Eve, the celebration starts when you can see the first star. And it's the Bethlehem star. Yeah or the star of Bethlehem. So all the children will be looking through the windows and if you can see the star, then you have your celebration. And uh, preparation of the food is very important. And as I said, the, the, the dinner is vegetarian. Um, although you have fish mm -hmm. um, and lots of vegeta vegetables and uh, sort of fruits, dry fruits mm -hmm. um, and when you prepare the table, uh, what we try to do, we try to put a little bit of hay under the tablecloth to remember the fact that uh, Jesus was born uh, in stables um, and uh, the food is vegetarian for the reason that we would like to remember all the animals which witnessed the, the birth of Jesus. So that's why it's vegetarian. Oh, wow. uh, and um, we also put one additional plate uh, on the table yeah. just in case is someone outside who doesn't have anywhere, anywhere to go and it will knock to the door and then you could give a place to that person and invite that person to have a dinner with you and your family. And people would dress up for the for the evening. Yeah. Uh, so after all day of cleaning and preparation, everyone would you know have a shower and then put very nice clothes and everything would be sort of um, very nice and uh, elegant and special uh, and poland mostly is a, a catholic country yeah. so people will have a pray at the beginning of the supper yeah. uh, and also will um, share what we call like a little bread or waffle is it like a little one and you share it with your family and you wish everyone happy Christmas and it's a sign of forgiveness and being you know uh, nice 
to everyone and just move on and have a nice time and nice after Christmas, of course, comes New Year. So everything should be should be should be nice. Um, some people also say that the way you sort of spend uh, working and celebrating on uh, this particular day, the Christmas Eve or the whole 24th of December, it's um, it's like your next year will be sort of in the same mood or you know it will similar to how you spend that day um, and in terms of food uh, we try to have 12 different dishes on the table and that is because it was uh, 12 uh, uh, apostles you know around the, the last supper so we have 12 dishes and as I said, it will be fish or salty uh, fish, uh, lots of cabbage, lots of nuts, lots of dry fruits, uh, uh, beetroot soup or mushroom soup. And you have to try everything, lots of dumplings and you have to try everything. And uh, after that, I think that's the most important for the children, because in Poland, all the presents will be given to children after that supper. So you can imagine all the children <laughs> trying to make sure that all the adults will eat very fast <laughs> because they can't wait to go to, you know, to the place where the Christmas tree is and find all the presents. So the, yeah, all the presents will be uh, delivered by Angel because Santa Claus already been, so that yeah. will be an angel and uh, you get the presents after uh, after the supper and uh, after the presents you know people will be celebrating so start celebrating Christmas and then majority of people will go for the midnight mass which obviously starts at midnight as a child I remember it was always a lot of snow and we would go to our local church uh, in like minus 20 or minus 15 and it would be lots of snow, but it was lovely, lots of light. You know, it was very special time. And then after that, uh, yeah, people started to celebrate the other two days of Christmas. So it's the Christmas day and the Boxing Day. So this is quite important time in Poland. So Christmas Day, um, I think you've told me in the past that it, it's spent going to church, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, I mean, if uh, if you go to the midnight mass, then obviously you might like to go again in the morning yep. to the church. But if not, uh, a lot of churches would organise evening mass uh, with carol service. Yes, a lot of people uh, after the, the meal on the 24 would sit and sing carols or at least listen to the car carols you know and we like singing carols um, and then boxing day again you go to the uh, boxing day mass where you meet all your friends it's a lot of christmas trees in the church you know and people then go and visit family go for dinners i just yeah, really, it's a family time. People, you know, try to spend as much as possible with with the family, which is which is lovely, actually. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Um, you you talked about a Christmas tree. Um, so obviously you decorate homes in in the way that people decorate homes in the UK. Do you have any traditions around the Christmas decorations and how long they stay up? Because in the UK we have this tradition about taking them down on on um, the fifth of January on Twelfth Night. So in the past we would start decorating our Christmas tree on the Christmas Day. Yeah. So parents would be cooking, shopping, last minute shopping and children would be decorating Christmas trees. Um, and um, so that was very special because a lot of uh, people would have a real Christmas tree. So the smell of real Christmas tree in the house, plus all this cooking, all this baking, the cinnamon and everything, that would be absolutely lovely atmosphere in the house. Uh, but uh, yeah, we keep our Christmas tree for much longer, which is really nice because this uh, um, January is such a long and dark uh, month. So we 
keep our Christmas tree traditionally until the 2nd of February. So I never take down my Christmas tree in England. I always keep the Polish tradition. All my neighbors are saying, oh no, you should be taking your Christmas tree down. <laughs> but I keep my Christmas, Christmas tree. I try at least to the like 25th or maybe even to the end of January if I can. Um, but yeah, in Poland, we that's what we do. Um, and actually after New Year, uh, we have a carnival. So in UK, uh, we have all the Christmas parties before Christmas, Christmas dinners, and in Poland all of this starts after Christmas, after New Year. Because Advent, the four weeks before Christmas, there is no parties. It's a time of waiting, so we, we all wait for the, for the Jesus baby, Jesus, you know, to arrive, and, uh, and people are trying to yeah, patiently wait, there is no celebration. But after New Year, after Christmas, we have all the Christmas parties. At schools, uh, uh, children will have um, uh, parties around Christmas tree, you know, like discos yeah. and all this stuff. So it's a different tradition and we keep the lights outside for at least to the end of, to the end of January or the 2nd of January. So, so oh, sorry, the 2nd of February, I, I should say, the 2nd of February. So you said the tradition is to keep it until the, the 2nd of February. So um, is there a particular reason why it's the 2nd of February? Yeah, it's it's a, a, it's a special day in the church, which mm -hmm. is the Holy uh, Mother. It's called the candle, something candle mm -hmm. kind of celebration. I, I don't know how it's called in English, but it's yeah. it's related to uh, Mary. Yeah. And on that day we finished, uh, you know, that's the end of Christmas time, Christmas period. So all decoration goes down then. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And I, I think I like the idea of kind of celebrating um, through uh, January into February, because those are the dark months where yeah. it's cold and everybody feels miserable. And, and that sounds really, really jolly and kind of keeping your spirits up. Yeah, exactly. I always feel I feel quite sad that, you know, sometimes here before Christmas, we are so busy and we don't have time actually to enjoy this Christmas lights before Christmas. There's a lot of Christmas lights, uh, switch on parties and but really we are so busy, especially at the universities, the end of semester, we're very busy. We don't have time and actually after Christmas you would have a little bit more time, but suddenly everything goes down and it's nothing. <laughs> and I always feel it's, you know, it's quite sad. Then uh, when you go to the continental Europe, it's not just in Poland, but um, you know, uh, I always remember Christmas uh, and then after Christmas, this time with all the Christmas tree, Christmas lights in the garden, lots of Christmas lights. Um, it's just nice, yeah, all the, all the town squares with massive Christmas tree in the middle and yeah, if we're lucky and we have snow, then it's even nicer, you know. Nowadays, the snow is not very often present for Christmas. Yeah. As we have, we can really see the climate change and that's sad, but um, yeah, my memory of Christmas when I was a, when I was a child, it, it was lots of snow, lots of light, the smell of cinnamon, the smell of, you know, cooking and baking, the smell of real Christmas tree and the carol, carol, carol service and singing carols around the Christmas tree that that actually very lovely memories, which I have. Sounds beautiful. Oh, thank you, Lisa, for sharing those memories with us. Um, it, um, I really appreciate you, you, you taking the time to talk to us today. OK, thank you very much and Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Bye.